Alright guys, how's it going? So I was doing a little bit of R&D and I've came up with a concept and I essentially have primitives and I would like to animate these and I was thinking about ways that I could quickly animate them without being too much work and I was actually reminded by a user on Facebook and it's the Wiggle Bones add-on. Now this is available for free. I'll put the link in the description down below. It's on Blender Artist. Now one thing, I think this only works in 2.8. I'm not entirely sure if it's been updated to work for 2.9. So please keep this in the back of your mind. And we'll quickly jump into Blender and I'll give you a quick example. Now I have the default cube here. I've gave it a quick bevel and I've kind of subdivided it a little bit. Nothing fancy. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop down some bones or an armature. So I'll press Ctrl and A. Let's add in an armature. Let's tab into edit mode and I'll press 1 to go to front orthographic. I'll then press A to select the bone. And I'll just quickly move this down. And I'll just make sure it just slightly intersects the cube. I'll select the tip of the bone and I'll press E to extrude. Let's put one in the middle. And let's put one on the top round about here. And that should be perfectly fine. So we'll quickly tab back into object mode. I'm going to select the cube and I'm going to hold down shift and select the bone. And the next thing I'm going to do is parent the armature. So I'll press Ctrl and P and I'm going to do it with automatic weights. So this will essentially create a weight map and it'll pretty much set us up. So in order to enable wiggle bones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bones and I'm going to select this green icon up here and that should put me in pose mode. Now I don't necessarily want the root bone to be running dynamics or to wiggle. I kind of want that to be the control. So I'm going to select these two bones in pose mode. I'll then come to the bone options and I'll enable the wiggle bone option. Now we can control things like the stiffness, the amplitude, stretching, stuff like this. But we'll leave everything pretty much on default. And let's just go up to object data properties and make sure wiggle armature is enabled. And that's us, we're pretty much set up. So I'm in pose mode. And what I can do here is I can hit play in the timeline. I can press G. And you can see here, I get this nice kind of wiggle and deformation. So we can obviously keyframe this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a couple of quick keyframes. So let's just go from here to here to here. Now don't worry about it being a little bit janky at the start. It's trying to essentially do a calculation. But when we go back to the start and hit play, you can see I now get this. Now one thing I actually like to do is enable auto keyframe. Hit play in the timeline and just move it. And you can see that it creates a whole bunch of keyframes and we get this really nice random kind of bounce effect. And I think this might be one of the methods that I actually choose to animate the primitives. It's nice and easy and it works pretty good. Now one thing we can do, if we actually select the bone, we can actually go to the bone options and we can bake the wiggle. So this means we can bake and then we can animate on top of the bake. And that's pretty much the bone wiggle add-on. <laughs> Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gunload, you know what to do. Take care.